In this video, I'm going to work through um, solving equations. So in this first video here, I'm just going to do one-step equations. So if I have the equation x plus 3 equals 10, the point of solving the equation is to find out what the x is equal to. An equation is like a seesaw with the equals at the fulcrum. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. Now to get the x on its own, we need to get rid of the plus 3. Because the plus 3 here is added to our x. To get rid of the plus 3, we need to subtract 3 from both sides. So we do the opposite. So we minus 3 from this side or and minus 3 from this side. It's like if you're sitting on a seesaw and you had to throw off three bananas from one side, you'd also have to throw off three bananas from the other side. So in this case, we now have x plus 3 minus 3 leaves us with the x, and 10 minus 3 leaves us with 7. And that's our answer, x equals 7. We can always check an algebraic equation because we can put the 7 back into this equation for the x and it should be true. 7 plus 3 equals 10 and that's true. Similarly, for um, an equation with a minus in it, when we have, we still want to find out what our x is equal to, so we need to get rid of this minus 7. So to get rid of the minus 7, we do the reverse operation. So in this case, we need to add 7. Add 7 to this side, we add 7 to this side. So x minus 7 plus 7 leaves us with x, and 19 plus 7 leaves us with 26. Check our equation, replace the x in the equation with the 26, 26 minus 7 equals 19. Correct. So what happens if we have 3x equals 15? Now in this case we know that when we write our numeral and our pronumeral next to each other like this, it has a times in it. So we're going to do the reverse operation and in this case it's divided by. So I'm going to divide by 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1, which will leave us with 1x. So we divide this side also by 3. So we're left with 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So we're left with the x. And 15 divided by 3 is 5. Let's check our equation. Let's substitute 5 into here. 3 times 5 equals 15. True. Now if I have an equation that is a divide, so if I have x over 7 equals 4, it might also be written as x divided by 7 equals 4. Either way. So to get rid of the divided by 7, we need to multiply both sides by 7. Okay, because Divided by 7 times 7 gives us 1. So x divided by 7 times 7 is x. 4 times 7 is 28. And that's our answer. So if we put the 28 back into this equation, 28 divided by 7 is 4. Or 28 divided by 7 is still 4. So that's simple one-step equations. The next video will be two-step equations.